Hi, this is a video on showing and looking at density of cubes and looking and using various models of setting up ratios and using box, boxes and dots. Um, instead of the dots, I'm going to write numbers so you can see them a little easier. And we have here four cubic centimeters. So a cubic centimeter is a unit of volume, and we're going to call this so one cubic centimeter is like that. And that's how you write a cubic centimeter. And this is kind of like the problem that was on the quiz. We have four boxes, which is four cubic centimeters. And in those boxes, there are two grams in each one. So we are going to have, so one of the questions was saying, using the model that we use in class, we have, there are, eight grams in what? And in this model we have two, four, six, eight grams in four boxes, which is four cubic centimeters. And you're always going to write centimeters with the little cube symbol on there. <coughs> and then <coughs> to express this as a ratio, for density, we always have density is the comparison of mass of something for the volume of something. And in this case, we're going to have 8 grams in 4 cubic centimeters. Now, if I want to reduce this ratio, all I need to do in the calculator, well, you can do this on by paper, hopefully, but if you're going to reduce the ratio, you're just going to take 8 divided by 4. That's what this ratio sign means, and that gives me 2. So it's going to be 2 grams in 1 cubic centimeter, which gives me the density of the cube. The substance, if you look at this ratio here, it describes exactly what how many grams are in each of these cubes? So uh, two grams in one cubic centimeter. Don't ever eliminate the units because grams and centimeters cubed don't cancel out, and therefore we have to keep the units. In the last part of the problem, it asks draw the boxes. So I draw the substance, I'm going to say the substance in, um, let's say, 3 cubic centimeters. Okay, so if I want to draw 3 cubic centimeters of this substance, what I know about it is the density still stays 2 grams in every cubic centimeter. So that means if I have 3 boxes here, you're still going to have 2 grams in each box because the density is not changing. If you think of it as kind of like the soap that we used, if I take a chunk of soap and drop it into the water, it sinks. If I take a half a chunk of soap and drop it into the water, that also sinks because the density is not changing. Or if I want to draw two cubic centimeters of this, so let's say draw all the substance in two cubic centimeters, and I have two boxes, like that. A lot of people want to put one dot in each box, but it's still going to stay two and two because this density is not changing. So you cannot change the density of a substance by changing the amount. You can only just change how much of a substance you have.